took yeah. Walter from the, I'm going to say the bloodline of fighters. First of all, introductions, I'm Abs. Lovely to meet you and thanks for being a guest on the channel. Yeah, thank you for having me. Walter, talk to us. Fight number two, right? Fight number two, yeah. Uh, can't wait for it. Since my first fight, I've been working very hard, training very hard, improving on a lot of things, and I can't wait to fetch it to the ring. Comes the 5th of October. 5th of October, a beautiful day, because that was the day I was born. But anyway, back to you. Talk to us about your training. You mentioned there you've been training hard. Can't wait back to it. I take it that there was, there's been a bit of a break between your fights. Well, to, to be fair, since my first fight, after that fight, I had about a week off and then I was straight back in training um, but yeah all the training's going good so far I've had a good bit of sparring with some good lads and uh, like I say I'm training seven days a week and working very hard it'd be ignorant of me to to not ask about obviously the surname the pressure that comes with the surname do you feel yeah. that pressure it's just like look it is what it is I'm Walter I want to make yeah. a name for myself stop asking me the same question <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, there is no pressure on me. Don't mean because I'm a fury, I've got pressure. Listen, nobody wants to lose, do they? But if I fought so much about that, you won't get on with the things you need to do. So, listen, I'm not worried about all like that. I've done boxing since I was a little lad. So, deep down, only what matters to me is being in the best shape I can be in, being 100% ready for that night of the fight. Talk to us about your style then. Um... How would you describe it to, to the fans? See the smiles coming in now. This well, is where I know the passion's there for the fighting. It's a bit awkward because I can do a lot of styles, to be fair. I'm tall, obviously. Boxing is a great thing for me just because I've got a brilliant reach and that. Mm. I can also turn southpaw. I'll so, switch here. Yeah. So a lot of things. Uh, I'm a very tricky boxer, I yeah? am. It's just uh, there's a lot more to be seen of me just yet. What would you say your favourite style is? I know, like you said, you you know, this is fight number two. Yeah. But when you look at the sparring, when you look at the sessions that you've had, what has been like a, a nice learning point for you where you've really like sunk into something you can say, you know what, I like that about my style so far. Yeah. Well, mainly the, the part I like about my style is uh, the boxing. I can keep back, I can jab, I can move, I can switch. And then, like I say, I'm good at counter-punching. Counter. And I'm also even better, again, at going forward when I've got to. So that's a big, uh, that's a big part of me. And I also can hit very hard <laughs> for me weight. Ring generalship, controlling the fight, something that I like to see. I like to see when a fighter goes in there and they're able to manipulate their opponents yeah. to really make the audience start looking at you, what you're doing. It almost distracts us that there's, there's somebody else in there. Yep. How do you do that, Walter? Well, to be fair, I do it just the way I do it, do you know what I mean? But this fight, you'll see you'll see a big difference in me. I'll go forward and I'll show them what I'm really about. Uh, I don't know who the opponent is just yet, but they should be very worried because they've got a very good lag coming towards them, meaning business. So who trains you? Who is the brains behind it? And has that person been with you since, like you said, you were boxing since you were a kid? Is this something? No, my dad used to train me okay. from being a kid, but I lost my dad back in 2014. Sorry to hear that. You're all right. And uh, since then, I didn't box for a couple of years. I had time off because obviously my head was everywhere. He was the trainer, so to be fair, it was like, it was a loss, do you know what I mean? He trained all of us. I've also got two older brothers, Huey and Phil. Uh, they was the same, they've been pro boxers. Uh, but since then, I got back into it not so long ago. Uh, Bob Howard is my trainer now. And Bob Howard's been brilliant with me. Uh, everything's going well better than I could ever imagine anywhere so it's very good I'm looking forward to my career forward and your career forward when you talk about making your own name for yourself mm -hmm. for people to say oh look there's Walter yeah what will that mean to you and and how do you intend to like captivate us audience uh, to say yeah we're gonna get behind this fighter I want to see Walter out again when is he out again social media all of that you know we're in the numbers game well, I'm just, I'm all about myself. I'm not trying to live on my cousin's name or whatever else. I'm doing my own part. 
It's me who's got to get in the ring and fight. And like I say, a lot of people ask me, do you have pressure and all that off Tyson and whoever else, Tommy and that. But listen, it's not them who's going to fight for you, is it? You can go train with the best or you can train with somebody who hasn't boxed before. It doesn't make a difference to me. I've been, a, don't get me wrong, I've been fetched up around the best of fighters, which one's Tyson. Do you know what I mean? I was training with him when I was a little boy, uh, when he had no titles, when he started his pro career. Uh, so, yeah, it's just about me doing what I've got to do to get where I need to be and uh, do it in style too. We are looking forward to seeing it. Like I said, you are out on October the 5th here in Liverpool. Yep. I'm looking forward to seeing you out. I saw your debut, so, yeah, yep. I'm interested to see how this progresses so all the best for your career and thank you so much for your time not a problem anytime all the best people say i'm toxic and honestly i don't care